Hello friends and welcome back to another Pokemon VGC 2020 Battle Series episode. My name is Lee, also known as Osiris, and in today's episode we're going to be featuring a team based around Diggersby. You can see it on your screen right now. It is made up of the Diggersby, the Talonflame, the Toxicity, Amoongus, Urshifu, and the Hydreigon. So we've got the Rapid Strike Urshifu in there. We're keeping the band from our previous team um, because obviously the Sash, which is normally the other item that we've gone, we need that on the Amoongus because we're going to be running a very fast, speedy Turbo Shroom in this team that pairs really nicely with obviously Talonflame and its ability to get that Gale Wings Tailwind up and help us shut down threats pretty quickly. It also pairs nicely with the Diggers B, obviously with the huge power and the life orb there. If we can get that under tailwind conditions, we can start really doing some big damage to opposing Pokemon. So team's going to be a lot of fun. Hope you enjoy the episode. If you do, please drop a like on the video. It does really help. If you're new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button for more of this sort of content and other Pokemon content. There is a rental team down in the description below. And at the end of the episode, I will throw up a rental team for this squad. So you guys can jump on the ladder and try it out yourselves. So we'll jump on, we found our first opponent, taking no time at all today. Hope you're all well and having a good day, whatever you're up to. And um, hope you're enjoying Series 6 as well. Uh, we've got Pengy up first as our first opponent, playing Weezing, Kanto Weezing. Interesting to see. I uh, wonder if it's got the Misty Terrain. That would be, uh, I don't know, we'll see. Um, then the Ferrothorn, the Melotic, and the Arcanine making up a nice Fire Water Grass Core. We've got Umbrian, one of my all-time favorites, and the Lapras. So it is probably going to be GMAX Lapras team. Uh, interesting to see what the Weezing is going to be doing. I'm a little bit curious there. Um, but I honestly feel like they've got no fake out support. Um, we can start doing a lot of damage with... Like, I'm kind of tempted to lead Toxicity because if we can get our Tailwind up and Toxicity going... Then, especially with the specs, we can start doing some serious damage to things like uh, Lapras and Melotic, which you kind of think my opponent's team is primarily based around. Uh, so we'll go with the Talonflame. We'll go with Toxicity up top. I don't know if I want to uh, max Toxicity. That's the only thing. The other option, of course, here is that we, we go Talonflame and Moongus. Um, and we just start putting things to sleep. But the, the kind of thing that puts me off is maybe the Misty Terrain from the Weezing. Um, so we have to be a little bit careful around that. I'm definitely bringing Diggersby to this one. And then I think it's a toss-up between... Well, I think it's probably going to be... Uh, 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 toss-up, yeah. Toss-up between Urshifu and Hydreigon. Hydreigon. Um, okay, let's go Urshifu because of the, the Ferrothorn. And at least it gives us a bit more firepower to uh, deal with that Pokemon. Okay, so let's see what we're going to do. I mean, if it is Misty Terrain uh, Weezing... It kind of indicates it's probably not going to be like Coil, Hypnosis, Melotic. Because it kind of conflicts uh, between the two. But you can never tell with these sort of things. You might just have two mods. Oh, if they go down that route with the Melotic, they might not bring the Weezing. So we'll see what they do. Umbrian and Lapras coming out. Okay. Not the worst. Um, and we're not in a bad spot to get a Tailwind up and then just chuck on some Overdrive damage, honestly, to uh, the Lapras here. Um... I mean, what's the Umbrian going to do? Probably Snarl. Uh, I'd imagine Snarl. And they'll probably double into Toxicity. But I don't I don't think it matters too much. Um, and we'll just go for the, the Choice Specs Overdrive. The thing is, we could go for a Choice Specs uh, Snarl to reduce the damage from the Lapras. But I don't know. I think it's better if we get just damage onto it now. I'm not going to max anything. Just want to get a speed control set up. Okay, we're going to see Protect from the Lapras. Definitely going to see a Snarl. Maybe even a Yawn come out from the um, from the Umbrian. That could be an option for sure. Get the Overdrive. We'll get some nice damage into this Umbrian anyway to start us off. So, we'll see what they go for. Um, yeah, that's good damage. Good damage. And there's a Snarl. Okay. That's, that's fine. Um, I mean, it's not the best. It's not the worst. It makes sense for my opponent to do that. Um, I do have the option here to actually max Toxicity. Because we've got G max Toxicity. Uh, so we could do that. Um, I kind of want to get Talonflame off the field if I'm honest. And get Urshifu out. Because I think if we've got Urshifu on, on the field. Uh, it makes things a little bit easier for us. Um, probably don't want to bring in Diggersby just yet. And if we can keep Talonflame in the back with Diggersby, I think for a late game Tailwind, maybe Max Sweep would do us a little bit uh, more in the long run than kind of trying to force that lead out right now. So we'll get Urshifu onto the field. We are going to see the Lapras Max 
the worry is here is if it is weakness policy um, and if it is then we will definitely proc it we're going to take some hefty damage for it but if it goes for the resonance or the vortex into Urshifu then it's not the worst thing um, and the snarl is not really going to affect us from the uh, the ember in here so do get the overdrive off do some all white damage to the Lapras and the Umbrian there. We get another Snarl coming out. It might be time for us to say, let's switch Toxicity this next turn if we get through, but I'd imagine a Resonance may be coming in. Uh, the nice thing is that we don't proc a weakness policy that we kind of suspected there. So maybe um, Light Clay with the kind of makeup of the team that my opponent's got, we do see that into our Urshifu here. Um, and like I say, I think it might be time to switch Toxicity out and uh, just reset um the drops there because late game it could be useful now we could go for a um probably better going hmm i kind of want to go for a close combat but i also don't want to drop our defenses and i think if we just search and strike the umbrian uh, we should be able to take it down there um and i think we'll get it's tricky bringing talent flame in here because you know, you could see my opponent going for the Hydro Vortex into the, the Toxicity. You get that rain up and, and and just get rid of that threat. So there is the chance that we bring Talonflame in here and it actually goes down. Um, okay, I'm really going to switch out. What's coming in? Velotic. Okay. Well, that's not ideal, but it makes sense now that we've actually got rid of the, uh, the, the, the drops on Toxicity. It will make it easier bringing it back in and make use those later on in this game and with the crits as well we're still doing like super nice damage to melotic so like if we get through this turn with both of these pokemon we've got the opportunity to take melotic down this next turn and we probably will seeing the resonance come into the talent flame which we should take yeah just about wow okay um right i think we go for the surgeon strikes again into the melotic and i think we just go for a brave bird and kind of say okay well our tailwind's ending uh, this turn coming up um so we're going to lose that speed control but at the same time i think for what my opponent's got on the field and what that we've seen so far we don't need to worry too much about speed control if we can get rid of the melodic that's the big thing hopefully we don't proc a citrus berry that would be the worst um or any sort of berry we do lose melodic uh talon flame there but we get some nice damage and put it in range uh we do see the berry what is it? Oh, it's a big berry. Big berry. So we're not going to be able to remove it from the field this turn. Which is a little bit of a shame. But we're kind of doing the right things here. I don't think we're going to lose Urshifu here. Um, I think the Melotic is pretty much on its last legs. And the, 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 uh, the Lapras has got one turn of its max left. So we do see a recover. Okay, that's fine. Because now we can get Toxicity back onto the field. It might be better getting um okay the resonance coming out again yeah let me take it but it's not great is it um i tell when does pitter out so do we get toxicity out now because the thing is i kind of want to really need to protect we need to get dig it probably best to get diggers be out um I don't really want to give my opponent the opportunity to kind of recover the uh yeah we'll get toxicity out because i think if diggers becomes onto the field it'd be able to kind of clean up pretty well against most things yeah okay so the lapras done with its max turns now which is actually really good for us i think what we'll do is we'll go for the search and strikes into the melotic and we'll go for a uh, I just can't risk, I can't risk bringing in um, Diggersby when this Melo when this Lapras is out in the field. Okay, we're going to see Melotic switch out. Weezing come in. Now we should be able to get rid of Weezing now. Uh, it's just neutralizing gas, okay. And the air balloon. So we'll get the Surgeon Strikes. This should be enough to get rid of the Weezing. Um, and I think I feel confident that Diggersby is actually going to be uh, enough for us to um, clean up after this. Like, it's got enough in its tank to deal with the Umbrian and the Melotic with what health it's left on. And we're only going to lose potentially Urshifu here, which is really what we want to happen. We want Urshifu to go down. So maybe a freeze dry or something like that. That would be ideal. 
uh, neutralizing gas wearing off. There's a freeze dry. Perfect. Perfect. Yeah, because now this gives us the opportunity to get um, diggers beyond to the field. We can max and then just get electric terrain set up and start supporting our toxicity. Start doing some nice big fat damage. They've got no electric resists now either. Their Auroraville is pretty much nearly worn off and the bunny going to be able to come in and do some nice work. So um, I think what we'll do is go for a Thunder Punch into Lapras. We'll go for the Overdrive. Uh, we probably will get um, Snarled here. If they go for a Yawn, that's perfect because we're going to get electric terrain up. So we're not worried about being put to sleep. Um, and I think because we got the electric terrain as well, like the, the drop minus one on our, um, our Toxicity. We don't really have to worry about that too much because the electric terrain is kind of um, making up for that, that deficit that we'll be facing after this turn. If that's what they go for, they may not. Of course, a big, big bunny coming out. Here we go. I love Diggers B as well. It's such a cool Pokemon. It's really good in Series 6 as well. I think it gives you a lot of options. Okay, we're going to see Protect from the Lapras, which is fine. Um, don't mind this. They're going for the same play as they went for turn 1. Um, we do get the yeah, Max Lightning set that terrain up, which is perfect. So uh, we're going to be in a nice position now. Even if we see the Snarl to... Um, We'll be able to get rid of both these Pokemon the next turn because Lapras, well, it can go for a double protect, but I think even then it probably goes down um, to the double protect after this. So there's the overdrive boosted by the electric terrain. Not quite enough to get the Umbrian and procking a berry there. Yeah. And the Snarl. We may need to actually target the Umbrian now with uh, Diggersby and go for the overdrive. I think that's probably the best play. Aurora Veil should wear off this turn, I think. No, it's definitely light clay, isn't it? So we'll go for... Um, ba -ba 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 -bum. We just go for the Max Lightning again, or do we go for a Max Quake? I think we'll go for a Max Quake, boost our special defense while we can, and then we'll go for that Overdrive, and that should be enough to get rid of both if we target into the Umbrian here. So we know we're faster than the Lapras with our Toxicity. Uh, that's actually enough to get the, the Umbrian, which is perfect. And the overdrive gonna be enough to get the Lapras, and then we even got so like lonely little Melotic to come in, and we'll be able to clean this one up. So, like Urshifu, we've done so much in this battle. I know it's not really picked up many chaos. It got the wheezing obviously uh, earlier, or helped with the wheezing anyway. But I mean, the fact that it could come in and just really stall the Lapras, slow it down, stop it really doing very much, and threaten things like Umbrian to force it off the field did way more for us in this match than it maybe looks on paper so I think that's going to be game as we go for another Max Lightning with the electric terrain boost huge power and life orb going to be more than enough to get this Melotic and uh, that will wrap up the game and the, the bunny doing its thing and uh, being the showcase Pokemon here so that's great uh, really good for just the showcasing of this team and um, very good game to our opponent and a nice way for us to kick off today so yeah Pengy with the team and you've got to respect always the Umbrian it's always a great pick it's something that I really want to build around again going into series six I think like I did the Gary Oak theme team um, kind of challenge a little while ago in series five um, if you want to check that out as well, I'll link the video up here. You can go back and check that out. It's it's quite funny. It was a lot of fun. Um, but just playing that, it was like a handicap team because we're using stuff from Gary Oak's team. But the, my point is that the Umbrian was in there. And literally, it was definitely the MVP of the whole the whole run of that team. I love Umbrian so much. It's such a good Pokemon. It really kind of pulls you through. And even in a format where there was like a, a bunch of fairies that threatened us, we still it still did so much work. Here we've got uh, EG. Is it EG? IG? I don't know. Anyway, they're playing uh, a Blessy, so <laughs> that's all we got to say. Uh, we've got the Blessy, the Dusclops, the uh, Talonflame, the uh, Gastrodon, Durant, and Inteleon. Other than the Blessy, it looks. I, actually, you know what? The Blessy, Blessy's a good Pokemon. Like, if you're not going down the Minimize route, Ally Switch route, um, I think Blissey's like not a bad Pokemon in the format because it can do some work at slowing down stuff like PZ and things like that. So it has got a place. Um, you, you just never like to see it, do you? 
Um, all right. Well, they've got Trick Room mod, uh, which probably just supports the Blissey and the Gastrodon, to be honest. Then they got the Tailwind mod with the uh, the Durant and the Inteleon there. Um, oh, this is quite tricky because the Durant, the Inteleon, causes all sorts of problems. I think we probably want a Moongus here because at least with the Sash, we've got a little bit of um, we've got a little bit of support, um, and we kind of draw in. I think we've got to go a Talon Flame Amoongus to be honest. Um, try and get a Tailwind up if we can. I think uh, it's tricky. I don't really want to bring uh, Urshifu here, even though Urshifu would be really good. I think Diggersby and Toxtricity are probably our best bets. Um, it's going to be whether or not we see my opponent go for their Tailwind mode, which makes more sense because they got the faster threats to us. Um, so we'll see what we can see what we can do it's gonna be about i think if we can deal with the like if they max inteleon that would be my bet that that's what they will go with if we can get rid of the inteleon or shut it down a little bit give ourselves a bit of room huh wow okay it is blissey and talent flame for my opponent madness um all right well i think what we're gonna do here is we will switch straight to toxicity and we will go for a taunt into blissey they have no idea, unless they're going like Tailwind Sing, which would be super annoying. Even then, though, they're not going to outspeed Talonflame with Blissey, I don't think. Or they shouldn't do. Uh, they're just going to pull the Taunt out, which is fine. And we'll pull a Taunt back with the Blissey. Stop it getting those minimizers and things like that. And it's gone Hyper Voice. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Okay. Well, we're going to go for a Volt Switch into the Talon Flame, and we're going to get a try and get a Tailwind up here. Um, they can attack us, though, with their Talon Flame and get rid of our Talon Flame. Hyper Voice, Blissey. Okay, there we go. Well, we see something new every day, friends, don't we? So we'll see what we can do against this. Oh, Blessy's such a nightmare. And the thing is, we haven't brought Urshifu, so it makes it very difficult to get any sort of momentum going. This is Gastrodon. No, it's a Dusclops. Okay, that's fine. Um, that's actually super fine. Uh, because we can now get Diggers beyond to the field, uh, which is ideal under Tailwind. Um, and we'll probably take a Hyper Voice for our troubles. We'll keep Toxicity pretty safe. We get some nice damage onto the Dusclops there. Um, and yeah, we'll get... We'll get diggers beyond the field. Because we've got the taunt, we can shut the trick room down. My opponent knows we've got taunt as well, so whether they go for that the next turn or not, it will be interesting to see as we see another hyper voice come out. Jeez, it does so much damage. It's like literally doing so much damage. I can't believe how hard this this bliss is hitting. Like look how much damage it's done to Diggers be. Um it's probably specs, you know. I hope we can see the team at the end. I really do. Okay, so I think what we will do is we will go for a Max Quake, which will help against the Hyper Voice stuff. And we'll go for a Brave Bird. Mm, do we go for a Brave Bird or do we go for a Taunt? Let's be safe here and go for a Taunt. Because we might miss with Brave Bird and Max Quake. In all honesty. I can't believe how much this Hyper Voice is doing. It's nuts. And I guess the thing is, we're leaving Blissey alone as well. And by not bringing Urshifu, we've really handicapped ourselves. So, it's going to be very difficult to, uh, to deal with. So, we've got to make the most of our max turns here. And with the Blissey being taunted, I guess it's a good opportunity for us to do that. I kind of want to just get some damage onto the Dusclops though. So, at least when we get Toxicity onto the field. Because I feel like we're going to lose... Um, we're going to lose Talonflame here. At least with Tox out on the field, we can overdrive with our tailwind up and um, and start chucking out some double damage into the into the Blissey here next turn. So there's a hyper voice. Yep. And if they go Nightshade, then obviously it's not going to affect Diggersby because we are that normal typing as well, which helps us out. Yeah, that's perfect. Now their taunt does wear off, which isn't great. Now we could bring a Moongus in. Um, and put the Blissey to sleep, which might be a better idea, in all honesty. Um, yeah, I think I prefer to do that. I could see maybe the Dusclops switching out this turn. Um, if we can put the Blissey to sleep, though, that would be that would be very, very handy. 
We don't want to go for lightning here. Yeah, we just want to go for another quake. I'm not worried about the Dusclops right now. Um, and we'll go for that Spore as well. We should outspeed the Blissey. Although, you can't guarantee anything. Like, I didn't expect it to start chucking out big damage. Who thought a Blissey would be doing big damage in VG? I mean, it's not big damage, but it is really disruptive. It's causing us a lot of problems. So, hopefully the Max Quake can 2 hit KR. You would imagine it would be able to. The worry here is if they switch the Blissey out. Okay, they're not going to, so that's fine. Um, wow. Okay, just one shot. Gone. <laughs> okay, we'll take that every day. Every day. Okay. Should have just done that last turn, to be honest. We wouldn't have had to deal with any more extra damage. Um, we'll be able to put the Dusclops to sleep, which is ideal. Um the Amoongus is going to be like pretty speedy as well now. So if the Talon Flame comes back in, we're going to have a way to actually hit it. It will be able to get its um, Tailwind up, of course, which it probably wants to do. It probably comes in now, sets Tailwind up for whatever they got like in the back. Unless they bring the kind of big Maxmon in now, Max, and then guard or stall us out for this last turn. If we can deal with the, the bunny, but who knows. We'll see. They are pondering there. Their options though, thinking about what they can do. Um, I didn't think it would be as easy to take down the Blissey. I know Blissey's not the most defensively built Pokemon, but at the same time, you think it probably could take a max move, but no. But no. Pleasantly surprised. Okay, so I'm gonna go for a max lightning now. This might hinder us, actually, yeah, it will hinder us quite a bit. Um, and we'll just go for a Giga Drain into the Dusclops, which should be enough to get rid of it. They're going to Tailwind here for sure, unless they are, um, unless they're Sashed, we take it down and then it's one versus three, which is all right. We still got Rage Powder support with our Amoongus, even though we'll have the electric terrain up so we can't put whatever comes in to sleep, unless it is another flying type. Let's just go straight for the Brave Bird, once to get rid of the Amoongus. Because of the Sash though, like even, even then, like we, yeah, I mean, that's fine. We're going to be able to get the lightning. We are plus two special defense as well. So that gives us a bit of a, a help in hand. No tailwind as well from my opponent. So whatever is in the back, they may feel quite comfortable with. Um, coming in and just at speedness. Like it could be Inteleon to be honest. It should be enough. Yep, just squeaking it. I mean, that would be the worst thing there if they wake up and they got like a Trick Room Sweeper in the back. Uh, they get the Trick Room up with Mr. Kale, but Moongus got enough. Our Tailwind Pit is out, um, and like I say, we've got, we got, no, that's our last turn of our Max. So we're done with Max. Let's see what comes in. And it's going to be Durant. It's going to be the Ant. The Ant-Man. Okay, here we go. Hmm. Right, we need to think about this carefully. What have we got? Toxicity. Hmm. I wonder what the best course of option is going to be. Mm. Probably Earthquake in. We'll take down our Amoongus. It's just that they protect. That's the only thing. Uh, I don't really want to protect here. Because it gives them the opportunity to get a Steel Spikes up. Which is never good. I think the thing is though. What we could potentially do is. Earthquake. Hope they go after the Diggersby. And protect Amoongus. And then we get Toxicity on the field with the Electric Train up. And we can Overdrive hopefully pick up a knockout if they target diggers be here though we're not going to get an earthquake off so we're not going to get any damage off which is a bit of a problem but let's see where they go let's see where they go be great if they go after the amoongus i don't think they will though i don't think they're worried about amoongus at all i think they go after the diggers be why we needed this is why we needed our talent flame for this thing, it might rip us apart. I think it will do. Okay, it's into Diggers V, yeah. That's the thing. Okay. I don't know if we're going to be able to do this. Mm, can a scoffed overdrive? Uh, Specs overdrive? Can it be? Can it? Can it get the Durant? I don't know. I really don't know. If they're going to go stomping. So the Max Quake, probably, if they've got it, which they should have, they're going to go for that. Get the special defense boost. Um. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, Overdrive is our best option here. And Rage Powder. It's like literally all we can click, to be honest. 
But let's see what they do. We know their life orb. They're going to take down the Moongus. It depends what they attack with here. If they've got the stomping, then... Yeah. They probably have enough now to... Um... I think what we're going to have to do, right, this next turn, so is get as much damage off here. Okay? We have got the electric terrain, so we've got that little bit of support. Oh, it's so close. It's so close. If they hadn't had that boost, you know, we get that. We get that every day. So what we need to do, uh, we can't do it because I was going to say, what we can do is we can protect and then we can stall out the turn. But because we're specs, we don't have protect. So we just lose. <laughs> Very close. I think it was like us being a bit complacent with the Blissey turn one, thinking it was more of a support Blissey. It did say in team preview that it could do other things other than just minimize its legit wasn't expecting the hyper voice damage there i hope we can see uh, a copy of this team i hope we can see the team and um, but very good game to my opponent just had that tiny little bit too much there at the end uh, for us to deal with don't think we're going to be able to see the team which is a little bit sad because i would have liked to have seen if that was uh specs or not but it wasn't anyway very good game entertaining and i hope you guys enjoyed it at home so like I said at the start of the episode, what we're going to do now is get the rental team for you guys to try this team out. I think it's a lot of fun. Um, I feel inspired now to build a team around um, an offensive Blissey. I don't know. I'll test some stuff. I don't know if it's going to be uh, the one. Right, what do I want to get rid of? Not Durant, not Sneasel, uh, not the new one, not that. Probably the Sun team. I think the Sun team is probably the one that's going to go. If you guys at home want to see this team up again as a rental code let me know i'll put it over to my other switch and i'll upload the rental there so we've got it don't make it public okay so we'll take it down um and then we will draw up the bunny make it public yes and there we go my friends here we go there is the team. I hope you have a lot of fun with it. I hope you enjoy it. It is a lot of fun to play. The bunny is great and I'm sure you'll have a lot of fun with it if you do try it out. And if you do, please let me know down in the comment section below because I love nothing more than hearing from you guys uh, about your experiences with these teams. If it inspired anything and took it forward for you or if you just had a, a, a lot of success with the build itself. Um, if there is teams that you would like to see featured in the coming weeks on Series 6, do let me know. Um, we have obviously the Players' Cup coming up and I will be covering a little video with that very shortly. So uh, just discussing the Players' Cup 2 that will be starting soon, the rules and everything around that. So keep an eye out for that one. But uh, on that note, I'm going to leave it there. I'm going to say goodbye to you all say thank you very much for tuning in hope you have a great rest of your day be kind to each other be kind to yourselves and uh, i'll see you all for the next one so until then friends take care and bye bye